FedEx reporting earnings after the close today. It's a uh, second quarter disappointed on both the bottom line and the top line. And for the full year, it has reduced its outlook once again for a second time. So FedEx share is not surprisingly dropping 6% in after hours trading. For more on what we learned, let's bring in Bloomberg's Thomas Black, who joins us from Dallas for some context here. Uh, the company blames weak global economic conditions, increased costs from expanded offerings, the loss of business from a large customer. I think that's Amazon and a mix of shift to lower yielding services and a more competitive pricing environment. How much of this is FedEx's own doing versus uh, bigger headwinds that it has no control over? I would say most of it. Uh, you have to give a comparison with UPS, which has stabilized its margins and had a pretty good uh, quarter in the last two quarters. So you can't blame it all on the macro economy. And certainly there wasn't a lot to like in this report. So I think a lot of it is on FedEx. So, I mean, Tom, what is the sort of the way out for FedEx? Because we've heard CEO Fred Smith complain a lot about the, the effect of the U.S.-China trade war. And then when you look at UPS, they seem to have found a way to navigate this. Uh, how does FedEx right this ship? Is, is, is Fred Smith the one to do it? They've got a couple of areas that they need to concentrate on. One is... Uh, fixing TNT Express, which is the European acquisition that they did in May of 2016, and they're still grappling with this. And it's been a headwind, and they're trying to get their hands wrapped around it. They did have a cyber attack in 2017 that set them back on that, but they've got to make that work for them. And then here in the U.S., they, they lost their Amazon business, which hurt their revenue, but they're also spending a lot of money to, to try to become more efficient at home deliveries. And for right now, it's painful because the, the revenue has been compressed because they lost Amazon and they're spending more. So this was a really bad quarter. So talk a little bit about this strategy when it comes to Amazon. They severed ties with Amazon. Amazon, of course, uh, also forbade its third party sellers from using FedEx as well. How does FedEx respond? Has it put the wheels in motion already or is it scrambling right now? It's already put the wheels in motion. This really started back in June when FedEx couldn't reach an agreement with Amazon to continue a contract to move packages with their express business. And then after that fell through, the contract to move uh, packages through their ground business also fell through. So that break was pretty much done. This is kind of window dressing on that, but there's definitely, it, the break is almost complete now. So they can focus on trying to win customers like Walmart and Target and others that see Amazon also as a competitor. And that's what they're trying to do now. And they must be, get more efficient at these home deliveries. Remember, these companies really focused on commercial deliveries for a long time where you dump, where you take a bunch of packages to one building and it's much more efficient. Now you have to go house to house to deliver packages. That creates a lot of costs.